wandered into the Hellwig booth. We're going to show some of their new products. Uh, Dave Wheeler's here with us. And uh, they're particularly proud of their new airbag system for the trucks. Dave, why don't you tell us something about it? Well, what we feature is larger air springs than our competitors. And having a larger air spring affords more air volume, which gives you better ride quality. Also, the larger air spring requires less air pressure to lift the same amount of load and also gives you more load capacity. Right here you have our air springs for the Ford Super Duty. And the air springs are full eight and a half inches in diameter, which gives you excellent load carrying capacity and ride quality. Put a 3,500 pound camper in the back of a Super Duty that only took 50 PSI of air to level the vehicle with our air spring setup. A lot of our competitors require 80 to 100 PSI. What that translates into is better ride quality, also less wear and tear on the vehicle because there's less force going into the frame rail, less fatigue on the frame, and also better off-road capability because the airbag will extend further and allow better articulation in off-highway applications. In other words, more travel. More travel. I noticed uh, there's uh, a lot of nice fit and finish. Uh, most of your products are powder-coated? All of our products are powder-coated. The uh, airbag brackets are laser-cut and CNC for, for a precise fit that fits right every time. So uh, Hellwig's always been known for their helper springs? Helper springs, yeah, we have a variety of applications with our helper springs. This is our LP25. We've been making this spring for almost 40 years now. And it's a tried and proven setup. It's pretty much the workhorse of our line. And then we have our new Pro Series, which affords everything in one box. The LP Series, you have a spring and an installation kit. The Pro Series, everything comes in one box. Also features our silencer bushings, which keep the U-bolts quiet for a nice, quiet, on-highway ride. We also have our big wig LP35s for serious tow and haul applications. Now this also kind of acts like a rear sway bar too, Anytime, by stiffening the leaf spring. By stiffening the leaf spring, exactly. By increasing spring rate, you're going to stabilize the vehicle and sway. But a sway bar is going to be the most effective way to control sway because that's what it's designed for. And it also doesn't affect the ride quality of the vehicle. It only comes into play when the vehicle tries to lean. Well, I love big sway bars. Yeah, this is very popular back in the 70s with the camper crowd. They still are popular. Some people don't want the hassle of having to run a compressor in a tank. They want the reliability and the set it and forget it nature of having a helper spring. So these are still a popular application. Great. So now tell us about the sway bars. Okay. All of our sway bars are made from heat treated 4140 Pro Molly steel, best in the industry. Um, we're the only aftermarket manufacturer for truck applications making sway bars with heat treated Pro Molly steel. Now, in the heat treating, do you use an oil tempering or it's a water tempering? Quenched and tempered, quenched in oil. We have our own oil mix that we use to quench the bars to give us the properties that we need. Um, quenched and tempered means your tensile strength is going to double, which means you have a more durable sway bar is going to perform well in demanding applications. I noticed you talking to somebody else about how this is transitioned from the round oh, yeah, to the flat. Transition from round to flat is a nice detail item that minimizes stresses in the bar. It's also a nice quality feature. Uh, we also round out the corners so you have sharp edges also provide adjustment holes in our newer sway bar kits to allow you to tune the sway bar to match your driving style. By changing the position of the in-link attachment, you can change the rate of the bar. So we have the, the Chevy, the Dodge, and, and the, the Ford. Ford. Yep. And uh, we even go to Jeeps and Broncos. Yeah, these are our new off-road bars for Jeep JK, Ford Bronco, Jeep TJ. These feature quick disconnect in-links to allow you to disconnect the bar so when you want to run the trail. Disconnect the sway bar, better articulation, connect it back for the ride home. Now how about rear bars? We offer rear bars for these applications as well. And they're designed to provide on-road stability and can also be used off-highway as well. They're not designed to be disconnected, but also they're small enough to not even hinder your articulation, but they're designed to be trail ready and work on the trail yeah, as well as on the highway. And you've got full coverage for the Chevelle Camaro Mustang crowd? Oh yeah. What we have here is our new adjustable front sway bar for GM e-body applications for 68 to 72 model years. 
What this affords you is three hole positions so you can tune the rate of the sway bar to match your needs. This is great for somebody that wants to autocross or is looking for the ultimate in handling on their vehicle. It's the only one on the market right now. It allows you to match the suspension upgrades to your driving style so you can get the most out of your vehicle. We also have our adjustable rear sway bar. This has been a very popular bar for us because it's also adjustable, allowing you to tune the rear suspension. So for the pro touring crowd, this is the way to go. This has been very popular for us, and they sell really well in the aftermarket. They're tri tried and proven. And, uh, I really like the mounting brackets. These are beauties. Yeah, these are optional billet mounting brackets for somebody who wants a little bit of extra appearance. Now, how are they uh, friction-wise? Are uh, they free moving, say, yeah, they're for free. drag racing? Yeah, they're free. They're the greasable, so you can grease them. They can free to move. Also, with our rear bars, they're adjustable, and they can double as a drag bar by firming up the suspension attachment point. So you can drive it on the soft setting on the street, firm it up for the drag. You control some of the wheel hop? Exactly, exactly. And then soften it up for the ride home. Auburn sway bars for pro touring applications are tubular to save weight and give you the rate that you need to control the vehicle. Tubular almost doubles the strength? No. No, it doesn't double the strength, but what it does is it allows you to run a lighter weight sway bar. So you can get a large diameter bar without the penalty of having the additional weight in the center of the bar. Right. So the outside of the bar is taking all the torsional loads, and so you don't have to take the center of it along for the ride. So you can save weight and get the handling you need. Fantastic. All right. Thank you for your time. www.hellwigproducts.com.